Hello there. I hope you're all fine. Here's Arno from France with my uh, tiny tuto in little English. So, in this video, I'm gonna explain you how to configure my Rigmaster with KL25. Uh, KL25. Uh, KL Sorry. And a Pinscape config tool. So, there will be no wire. Only configuration, because we always make configuration before wiring. Okay? Great. So here's the Rigmaster. You already saw it, I think. You have uh, 8 digital digital outputs, 8 PWM outputs, many inputs for button here, many inputs for other button. You can plug a plunger with potential meter only and some extension mollusk and all that shit so when you receive your ringmaster you have one KL25 with pin you have to connect it like that under the board click like then plug it then plug everything then play with your virtual pinball. So, I will not connect it to Rigmaster. We don't need, just connect it to PC with USB. First of all, I will uh, update the, the soft, the firmware in the KL25. So I will connect on that connector. It's Prog USB on KL Shield, that side, that one. I connect it, then when I do that, I have some light. And now I'm going that way. Just have a look that way. Hello. So I'm setting up a new Cal 25. It's the same thing just to, to put new firmware, to update firmware. It's the same, the same way. So actually, there's a good firmware, firmware in my KL25, but I'm going to make a firmware update just to show you. So you click on Setup New KL25Z. You may click, I've installed Pinscape previously on this unit to keep your settings. I'm going to do it's brand new because it's like it's a brand new KL25. Yes. It's okay. I have the good bootloader. If my bootloader is an older one, I need to correct it. But I won't show that in that video. It's with uh, Windows 7. It's uh, an old shit, actually. Many, uh, about 90% or 99% of uh, KL25 have good bootloader. So I'm going to just click on Install Pinscape. Here's my firmware. It uh, automatically opened uh, the right uh, folder, but if you don't have the, the right ear, you can browse for a files, then seeking in your PC the bin file, the correct firmware file. So, get the last one, just click on it. Here to continue, I'm plugging programming ports, that port, that's okay. Just need to wait. Now the Cal 25 reboot. Just have to wait some minutes. Then it's okay. But tell me to plug the joystick port, the over port, that one. So plugging that port. And now I have a Yellow and green LED here. Yeah. Just have to wait. Okay, that way. Configure settings. And now we can configure our Cal 25. I'm going to click here to show you another way. If it's already with good firmware on a other thing like that. Up. When you connect here. Yeah. 
disconnect. My Pinscape software is a bit slow, but it's my computer, I'm sorry. That thing must disappear. But, ah, okay, we're okay. So when you plug your KL25 up that way, up, some stuff is appearing. We are going on setting to set up our KL25. I'm clicking on setting. And I'm going to set it for my rig master unit. Waiting, my slowly pace. Let's have a coffee. Great, it's working. So first of all, I need to choose which board I have. I have a rig master, so I'm selecting rig master. Okay. If you want to to interact to configure it uh, the old way, you have to sh to click on Show Cal25 Pin Assignment. But actually, we don't want to, so we don't click on it. Okay. If you have some mollusk boards, I need to check if I have. Yes, I want. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that board. That board is connecting here. Then you can ch daisy chain it to have a lot of expansion. You know that. If you have some Mollis board, you choose here how many you have. I have one Mollis board, one. If I have two Mollis board with more light, more eight, more four, I choose two or three or four or five or six. Actually, we're going to try with no Mollis board. Okay, so here you check how many you have. You don't have to, to choose anything here. By default, it's OK. Reset on, decon on disconnect, it's OK. I have not even switch uh, features and no infrared remote control features on my rig master, so don't touch. OK. Here, we're going to check for orientation. If your, your rig master your USB connection is uh, near the front door of your virtual pinball. You play like that, it's OK. Then, if it's like that, and you play like that pinball, you have to check for facing left, for facing, for facing right for that use, and for facing rear for that use. OK? Basically, we're like that. Dynamic range. Uh, Usually 1G is okay. 2G, you have to just to read, and if you want to change, to check, you can try. But 1G is okay. Auto centering is okay, like that. If you have a plunger, a potentiometer, uh, like like that stuff. This is my uh, potar. Who's plugging here like that? Bing, wire. Um, 3D, uh, 3D print to put it and real plunger. So if you if you have one real plunger, it only works with pot with potentiometer or potar. It's a DK potar, DK ohm uh, potentiometer uh, linear. So if you have one, you choose potentiometer beam and you plug it. If you choose anything else, Rigmaster is not compatible with this plugging sensor. Okay? Maybe later you can choose any other, but actually you can. So use only potentiometer. If you have a uh, plunger with potentiometer, you may have some uh, caliber or brain board. I'm gonna put them. Here's the. Uh, Here's a caliber, caliber, and here's a brain board. With that board, if you push that button or that button, you can caliber your plunger. So if you have that board or that board, just check button input enable, indicator lamp enabled. So it will work. If if you don't have them 
or if you if you don't have them you don't have to to click here but if you have them and you don't click it will not work okay ZB launch ball setup you can set it as you want it's in our tutorial then button side here you have your 21 uh, button inputs the first here from uh, start to tilt so it's from button one start game extrable coin one coin two Langer launch ball for longer button exit and quit so uh, basically uh, there's I don't make any difference for me with exit and quit you can uh, you have to configure it by yourself well no there's a lot of people who are asking me uh, what difference there is with exit and quit I've put the basic I've put the basic inputs that were on pinscape so don't ask don't ask me ask uh, pinball software creator or use uh, the one you need you can change all of that if you want that button going on B just plug put B you know you can change configuration it's just basic configuration you can change it but you can't add other button so from start to tilt here it's that connector then from open and service RAM service button it's that connector or connected to brain or RAM service it's just button and you have uh, one uh, night mode button and uh, volume up volume down and volume up volume down sorry so that's for inputs you have only 21 input on rig master if you want if you need more inputs buy a cal shield that's okay and now we don't have to touch that part this is the outputs part basically you have uh, 16 outputs 8 digital 8 per wm the first 8 digital are here from 1 to 8 digital gpo power 1 so here you can write what you want if you have a for example a left flipper you can put your toy name right flipper so they know it as you want you can write what you want here but here is the first eight outputs in your DOF config tool on the infinite seat you will have to configure outputs the first outputs number one here is the same than number one on DOF config tool sorry the second one is the second on DOF config tool till 16 and till after then here you have your first PWM outputs that one next 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 so you have all your outputs were well, here if you want to exchange them you can click if you want for example the 10th output that one uh, this that one to be here to be at the last you can do it as you want take the last outputs click here pwm outputs and you want the 10 it's okay so the 10 is here and here you can put the here you can change as you want but per default use standard assignation uh, here is a uh, for noisy toy if you click here your toy will be disabled on a uh, night mode when you push on the that button night mode button it's basic pin pinscape stuff you need to know that stuff that's the flipper logic and that uh, no that's the flipper logic but uh, it will not work with digital output and that's the chime logic work with digital output and here for led if you have rgb led you can check that it's better 
Okay, so if you have one mollusk with 16 output uh, more, you click one mollusk here and there's automatically new output with mollusk, your first mollusk here. One, two, three, four, five, six, voila. By default, it's okay. If you have another mollusk, just put two here and you have it's the first the rig master outputs here then the first mollusk outputs here then the second mollusk output here 48 outputs if you have a uh, five mollusk you will have lot of outputs okay the first mollusk uh the first one that one i'm gonna put two because five is a bit more is a bit uh too many uh that mollusk that one will be the first in daisy chain the first one if you have another one it will be the second here the second one here, mollusk two. Okay. So when uh, when you you finish your configuration, for example, I have no mollusk board, nothing. Don't forget to push that button. If you don't push that button, it will not be programmed programmed into your, your Cal25. You always need to push that button. Yes. That's okay. Cal25 reboots, and it's okay. Uh, LED is uh, yellow and green because uh, I have no plunger who has been calibrated. And uh, if you calibre your plunger, it will be blue and uh, green, or oh, blue and yellow. I think I think it's blue and green. So it's gonna be blue and green. Yes, of course. If your plunger is calibrated, is calibrated. When you finished, you have programmed. You can save your config file, save to a file your configuration, or you can load the configuration like for my configuration for L sheet for example but I can go here rigmaster I have all my rigmaster configuration and I can load one then program then it will be in KL25 okay it was uh it was fast <laughs> It was very fast, that's what she said, uh, And uh, but uh, I think it's okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in um, in commentary. Also, feel free to put me, uh, to finger bang me, please, on this video. Follow me here, and I uh, have good pleasure with your virtual pinball, dude. See you guys, thank you.